Now my Haramai. Welcome to Mahara 20.10, which was released on the 22nd of October 2020. The Mahara Project team and I, Christina Hoppner Project Lead, invite you to take a look at some highlights of this version of Mahara. In this video, highlights will include using Mahara for assessment and certification purposes and providing additional integrations, in particular with learning management systems. We would like to thank all individuals and organizations that contributed time, expertise and funding to make this release with its many improvements a reality. Without their support, Mahara would not be able to be where it is today. Let's take a look at what's new. Maroon theme. When you are the site or institution administrator, you could already choose from five themes or also set up your own. Mahara now comes with a new built-in theme, Maroon, that is available also for customizations via the sub-theme starter, like all other themes. Accessibility improvements. You will also notice that we increase the font size and the width of Mahara in our efforts to improve accessibility. We will be making more changes in that area over the coming releases. Portfolio Completion Progress Page The Portfolio Completion Progress Page visualizes the number of sign-offs and verifications within a portfolio to indicate easily how much is still left to do in the portfolio. The progress bar provides a percentage value and all page titles can be clicked for quick access to them. This collection functionality can be used on its own or in conjunction with Smart Evidence. Lock instructions. When you set up a template, you may wish to prevent your learners from changing the instructions on a peer assessment, text block or the page itself. Yes, text blocks can have instructions now too. Indicate in your page settings that you are setting up a template and when somebody else copies your portfolio, they won't be able to change page and artifact instructions and also retain access to the original portfolio if it is still available. If you make a copy of this copy, you will be able to adjust instructions again. Quick editing of text blocks. When you have text blocks on your page, you don't have to go into the edit mode to adjust their content. You can do that right from the page itself by turning on the details mode. You then have access to the quick edit option. Update URLs to a new domain. Migrating a Mahara site to a new domain can be quite time consuming. You can find a handy tool in the site administration to assist with that task. It finds all instances of the old domain name being used to refer to artifacts that were embedded in text blocks, notes or journal entries, for example. You can then update them with a click of a button. And now for some integration options. Mahara Assignment Submission Plugin for Moodle. We published a new Mahara Assignment Submission Plugin for Moodle. It uses LTI for authentication and web services to manage portfolio submissions. This plugin will also be made available in the Moodle plugin database for your convenience. Further web services improvements include the display of course completions for Moodle or Totora and the sending of custom profile fields. One last feature to highlight here is Docker. It is now possible to set up Mahara with an official Docker image that configures a basic installation of Mahara in just a few minutes. If you are set up to run Docker, you can start with this image straight away, including Elasticsearch. There are several more new features that made it into Mahara 20.10. Check them out! You can find all new and updated features in the manual for Mahara 2010 at manual.mahara.org. You are welcome to download Mahara 20.10 today, install it and give it a go. Alternatively, try it out on our demo site demo.mahara.org.